Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, ain't this a familiar sight? So, I thought I would try something a little bit different, and because my usual recording space is being occupied right now, um, I'm probably going to be using this temporary space. Sorry if the recording's a little bit late, and sorry if it's not what you guys were hoping for, but had a lot of stuff I need to get done, and I figured I wanted to do something simple for a change, and I figured, why not finish where I left off? <laughs> so I'm probably just going to be doing some inking, no painting, none of that jazz, but I did finally, I did off camera do a little bit of Ben, uh, so yeah. Uh, I could also, weird thing, um, I lost one of my inking things, so... Weirdly enough, uh, I had it, and then I lost it. <laughs> it's actually, these things are pretty useful. They're waterproof ink pens, so, yeah. Um, but you won't see me using any paints uh, because of today. Um, probably next time, if I get any recordings out over the weekend, uh, I'm probably not going to be getting much recordings done I only got like a little bit of stuff I needed to do because I've been out most of the day and uh, life is well ain't it just a box of chocolates I know I'm quoting Forrest Gump I don't care <laughs> um, honestly I'm actually doing this one for fun because this was actually a cool interesting um project i need to still get finished i also will be adding the sparrow academy as well and uh some of the other characters from the comic like villains wise and all that but yeah if you haven't checked it out already um please go check out the previous uh recording sessions of me doing this poster they should be somewhere on the channel um, but, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. Also, if you hear a little popping out, uh, in the background, know that that's just fireworks. Uh, I can't really control, <laughs> uh, how, how early people want to celebrate 4th of July. <laughs> Wish I could, though. I like fireworks, but then I also dislike them in between because, uh, reasons. <laughs> But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this little inking session. Um, I'll probably be just inking Klaus, the rumor, uh, and Ben, um, be or Klaus being seance here, which is completely, looks co very much a lot different in the TV show. If you guys have not watched the show on Netflix, your discretion is advised <laughs> if you are... But if you're kind of a teenager and stuff, you'll understand it's just weird, wacky, cool, funny humor. I will say the comics rely more on dark humor than uh, the show does. The comics are very a little bit hard to follow, but also very interesting. Uh, so, yeah. They're also very interesting, to say the least. Um... Uh, fudge. Um, if I had my gray one, which I wish I did, I would be using that as well. Um, but I don't. Also, if you're wondering, I did get these at Joann's. They're actually pretty cheap. Um, highly recommend them if you're a watercolor artist and you want to find an... Instead of getting a, color, a calligraphy pen, which those are still good to use, and getting waterproof inks, I figured these are a lot simpler. Um, 
So yeah. I would recommend waiting till they a little bit dry. They do dry fast, but still wait just a little bit before painting. Just in case. <laughs> um, not saying that they do have the habit of still running. It's more just like sometimes I have accidentally smeared them. Because I don't think they say anything about being smear proof. <laughs> so yeah. Just a little heads up there. Um... Mostly just going to be inking the pencils, and also I am sitting on a wood floor, which I hate doing because it hurts my ankles. So, um, because of the because of circumstances, I can't really be in my usual recording space. And I'm not going to lie, my actual room is too messy to record, <laughs> and I rather not show off my room. So, yeah, there is that. <laughs> Um, also, uh, the Undertale poster will probably take me a while. I am unfamiliar with the franchise. I need to look more into it and to come up with a unique layout. I've been trying to think of one, and because of the fact I don't know too much, I know the basic concepts and some things. I still, I try to do just a little bit of research. But to someone who knows the franchise inside and out and who is a big fan, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, um, maybe uh, that people like that would have a better time and actually would be a better collaboration to do something like that, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Uh, <laughs> because uh, personally... Uh, if it's something I'm really struggling with because I don't know the franchise, I don't want to do it, get it wrong. And I figured if I had someone who knows the franchise and stuff like that, they can easily help with the layouting more than uh, me. So for me, uh, for instance, this layout actually went through a lot of rough drafts because I did not know enough, and I was just starting watching the show, and I did actually do some more research into the comics and stuff, and I thought, okay, I think I figured out a unique um, um, layout that works. So, yeah. Um... Um, so, and I'm just that type of person. I don't want to get details wrong. I want to go put my 100% of myself into something because I don't want, if I, I don't want something to look crudely done because I'm kind of a perfectionist. If I, people are going to notice if you're not really putting, like, it just looks very crudely, very rushed. You don't know what you're doing. You just kind of like don't have a love for something people are going to notice that and it's going to grab their attention and if and from what I, my experience that's going to catch people's eye and they're going to throw that's going to throw them off oh sorry i bumped the camera <laughs> and they're just not going to want to if you want to go into a professional sense they're not going to want to hire you cuz they just figure oh you're just going to waste our time and we don't need someone to develop talent. We need someone fully formed and someone who knows the material to get in here. So, yeah, you're – no, we're not hiring you. So for me, that's kind of where my sense of like I I have – I can always you know ask for help. Um, also, it does help to learn uh, research um, – and stuff like that. So for me, that's, you know. Also, if you guys were wondering, yes, um, there will be a lot of different projects on the pipeline. It's just the problem is time and also just life <laughs> in general. So I just, uh, I'm trying to get like a schedule together and really just figure out stuff when I can work on stuff, what time I can do it and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, I will be doing some, uh, some of the stuff. It's, it's just like, if you guys are wondering, Arkham will be done. Other stuff will be done. I just, it's more just the, 
time aspect that's really kicking my butt lately. So, yeah. I'm not slacking off or any of that jazz. It's just uh, just that in general. So, yeah. Um, um, also for me, it's, it's always difficult to, if it's a franchise that I'm unfamiliar with and I do not know enough about it and stuff like that, it's, I always try to take careful consideration to where I don't get anything wrong detail wise and I also don't want to offend the people of that franchise be like hey you got this wrong you got this wrong you did this didn't do this right didn't do that so it's kind of like even as an artist I always have to take careful consideration to everything even if it's fan art fan made uh, original concept of my own I still have to take influence and stuff just because obviously, <laughs> and stuff like that. So for me personally, it's more just the thing of like, I always have to be mindful of anything I'm working on. So you don't want to, like, let's say I draw um, an actor. And I just kind of like, I don't really know the actor. I kind of just give a rough thing. Yeah, you can draw from your own head, which is always great. But you also, if you're drawing as someone specific and you don't personally know them and you just kind of rush through it and you're just kind of like, eh. And then, and, and then when somebody calls, because uh, somebody will call you out for that. Like, if you give your whole life going with, like, everybody like gives our yes men or part of an echo chamber of, like, you're always hearing, oh, this looks great, this looks great, this looks great, then sometimes certain people or artists or whatever start to develop an ego. For me, I'm not one of those people. Even if I hear, you know, the, oh, your drawings look amazing, your drawing like, yeah, that makes me happy, but obviously... I know in my heart that I make tons of mistakes. I make tons of mistakes every time. You know, it's a part of the process. If you can't be willing to admit your faults and like accept constructive criticism, then really you should not be in the form of art or any of that because you're going to get that whether you like it or not. You can't just throw out um, people's criticism mild. Like you're going to get hate. You're going to get stuff. You're going to get tons of stuff you don't want to hear. And your ability to take it and run with it is more the test of your character. Like if you're just going to get mad and throw a temper tantrum and basically, basically be a child about things, then there's really no place for you in the art form because to be honest, it's more about your ability to push through that criticism, push through and improve, keep improving, keep, you know, drawing, keep doing this. I always am, I improve in multiple ways than one. I have a, you want to know how many projects that I have that I do not have done? I have 75 projects. Counting the new ones, 85. Yeah. 85 posters. And some of them are not even done. Some of them are in various stages from pencil to ink to already half finished or to just paint it in general. Now, you're probably wondering, well, why don't you just get them done? <laughs> I know people are going to say that. Here's the thing. You have to know when you can get it done and when you can't and when you stuff. If you have a lack of time and you have just so much stuff that you need to do, like whether you, you have a family member that you're trying to take care of, you're trying to pay bills, you have a child, you have this, that, or the other. I don't have any of those things. But for me, it's more just about time. I do not live by myself. I do not um, 
without really telling uh, too much about my character or any of that. So basically, I don't really have the luxury of being completely free to do whatever I want. Now, some people do have that luxury. I envy them. <laughs> I very much do. Because sometimes I would like nothing more than just to stay home all day and draw and finish everything that I basically um, need to get done. But the thing is, it's better to basically have that time of – sometimes it's okay to take breaks and stuff because you'll burn yourself out. And I've And I've ran into that problem – even a lot recently, especially with this channel, where I've had a little bit of burnout, where it's kind of like doing anything is draining, just like art um, or any type of work is draining. It's just your ability to push through and really work um, through everything is your real test. Now... I could sit here and say, oh, well, it's not that it's impossible. You guys should just – no. It's not impossible. It's just the test of wills. I could sit here all day and ex go on a rant and explain about basically how how complicated it is and how life will kick you in the behind and you know all that stuff. But you, know, you, you probably have heard that a million times over. So what I'll – I'll finish this little rant by saying just push through. Keep pushing, keep practicing, keep going through and experiment with your mediums, but also just admit like admit your faults. It's okay to have some humility. I've met tons of people who that do have that and I've met a lot that have it or don't. Um, you know, don't give up just because you think you can't do something or just because you, um, you can't do what other people do. Like you can't go to art college. Well, should I just give up or are you, or should I just give up? Cause I can't do this or that or the other. Don't do that. <laughs> Please don't. If you can't, if you, if, cause here's the thing. I have never been to art college. I want to go. But everything I've learned about my art and everything I've learned is through a mixture of YouTube and trial and error completely on my own. Now, there is times where I will ask for help. Um, most recently, um, there was a drawing that I was doing that I was really struggling that a, a subscriber, Beta, Big shout out to you. Uh, you are amazing. Um, actually helped me understand like a side view of like – because I struggle with drawing women. I can admit that. Like that's one of the things I'm trying to work on, um, drawing the female form, which you know, there's – you're going to have stuff that you're going to have trouble drawing. Um, you know, if you can admit that like, okay, this is where I struggle. This is my fault. I can't – you know, draw this, then, you know, you're like, that's the best part about humility is like knowing where you're going to lapse on. And it's okay to ask for help. There's a lot of people in multiple uh, curriculums or in a lot of careers that just do not want to ask for help. They just, they, they won't let go of their pride. Don't be one of those people. <laughs> Don't be one of those people that is very prideful and will not ask for help. You know, there's always going to be somebody that is willing to help. And and to those people, you guys are always amazing. Um, you know, for me personally, I there's a lot of stuff that, you know, I struggle at drawing. Like, I'm no, I'm not the best. <laughs> like, you can see my art and you can see where some stuff is not the best. Like for instance, these smear effects where, um, where the daggers are being thrown, those, I could easily clean them up a little bit and stuff like that. Now, am I going to in this video? Probably not, but yeah, like 
there is always room for improvement. Every artist, professional or no professional, there there's always there's a, always a mixture of humility mixed with um, doubtfulness and like just always wanting to improve, always wanting to fix. Because the thing is, it's if if the problem is you gotta mix that feeling because maybe that does add to the piece. That's why it makes it look so great. Or maybe there's just like something that you need to embellish a little bit more, which is perfectly normal, perfectly fine. Um, also, sorry in advance if the lighting in here is god awful. <laughs> um, personally, uh, I don't have many places I could record right now. Um, that's why my videos have been mostly just shorts lately. Um, the next video probably should be working on either the Undertale poster, the Arkham poster, or 5YL, maybe. I might wait on 5YL till Ash does another Drawing Matrix video, and as of recently, those are, you know, going to be awesome. Um, and also, I might wait also till... Um, Till I have more free time to do um, the uh, love arts version of uh, um, the Helliverse. So, if Rose, if you're wondering why I haven't worked on many of those yet, that's those. That's another reason <laughs> I'm waiting till Cerberus gets revealed, and also because can't right now <laughs> so that's why um stuff also um uh, i'm really glad that you liked the um both of you actually liked it the rose thought it was interesting the drawing was and the person who was sick that i made it for actually liked it so i'm happy uh it turned out well um um what else um to be honest, I don't really know. Um, I really want to um, go and do a lot of different projects, but it's just more the ability of time and just management. Like, yeah, I could sit here and say, oh, like, you, I can't do this because of those reasons or that or stuff. It's just everybody has to admit like their faults of like where they're going to lapse because if you don't you're just going to run around like everything's hunky dory and then you're going to run into a lot of problems even professionals you know when image comics first started that was the main complaint uh was just time wise like they did not get their books out on time um stuff like that that is actually a fact that i think some people know some people don't know about image when it first started now since then of course they've improved but when they first started like it was very wax and waned um because they were ir experienced they just started their own comic book company and of course if you look into the founding of image you know it wasn't perfect obviously but then again you know nothing ever is there's no church such thing as truly a perfect anything like perfect drawing perfect person perfect anything like you could because perception the perf ugh, perfection is something that can be personified by someone's view obviously but really it, there's no such true thing um It's more just your ability to really just try your best. Um, and like some if people are going to obviously say, oh, this looks perfect. But that's like their perception of, you know, something and which is not a bad thing. But the fact that if you can notice your own flaws and notice, hey, um, no, it's not perfect. There's tons of mistakes. That's just admitting like you having like a humility to admit your faults there which is actually perfectly normal and actually really actually good it's kind of a good thing it's okay to be doubtful 
and it's okay to, you know, question yourself. Just don't overdo it. 